It's, you're very entertaining when it comes to this, and there's not many people that can freestyle like that as well. So I think that's that's the skill, man. I think at the end of the day, like it helps. Do you know what I mean with the mind? So reading is to the mind, like exercises to the body. The more that you read, the more lyrics you're bound to come out with. And not only that, you'll find out a hell of a lot more knowledge than what they probably. Do you know what I'm saying? Never teach you in school, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's the way that I see it. Self educate yourself because you'll be so shocked at the stuff that you find. This is the Word Life Show on Ujima Radio. Mad, 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 mad. Right, so this is the part of the show that we have been looking forward to. Okay. I got Denby shots in the building. What's going on, crazy? Bro, it's, it's been a good show, man. It's been a it's been it a has, a it has. One, yeah, come on. Um right, so this interview, okay. Uh for anyone who doesn't know you, I will uh, use this time to introduce you to our audience and the listeners and everything like that. Okay. So for anyone who's just tuned in on radio, I've had Denby shots throughout the show. Uh he's played a couple of his bangers and their sick tracks. Um one of them that stood out, and I know we talked about it earlier, but the video camera weren't filming back then, so it was the garage one. Yeah, the light and the dark things one. Yeah, man. So you went over the phase one rhythm, Nicole's groove. That's right. Which was Wiley's first ever track under a different alias. And uh, bro, so what made you choose that then? All right. So basically, like I said, at the time, Mm. Garage was obviously making a comeback on the scene. And that was mainly due to like AJ Tracy and a couple of other people. But me personally, I felt for Denby Shots, I wanted to give Bristol like a different kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? And show that we can do it as well in the southwest not just obviously the southeast and i particularly chose that one because it had the old school proper vibe to it the beats and everything and i just thought you know what if i'm gonna do it i might as well bring back with an old school kind of beat so that's what i did i came back with something that people wouldn't really either know or if they did then they would obviously like enjoy it so that's what i did you know then what I'm they saying? really really knew yeah yeah, 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 yeah that's fair. it now nah, hey bruv uh it's one of my favorite classics as i say I, i've got the promo copy of that from back in the back of the day the original vinyl um i know all about that song trust me but um, yeah, yeah. i thought it's good but also uh you said you used some samples from bump and flex yep now you had me with that because bumper flex is some of my uh, <laughs> bumper flex and i think mike delinquent is my favorite garage producers of all time you know what i mean yeah so yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah i think good tech was on that and a uh, good taste you know what I mean? um so right what got you into music originally then all right so believe it or not i was actually obviously brought up in like a musical household so my stepdad and my mom they were always into like reggae dancehall and jungle and acid house you know okay. so i obviously just started off in like a musical household and my brothers and sisters as well and to be honest, it kept me out of trouble as well. You know what I mean? Every time I went to youth club, there was always a specific teacher there that would try and get me onto the course. Yes. It'd be like, come on then, you know what I mean? Like, you've actually got some talent here, you've got some writing skills, and you've got a little bit of a flow. So yeah. you might as well just put that into perspective and see what you can do with a purpose. And that's Sh- basically what I've done. Shout out to that teacher, whoever exactly. said that. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what? There's people like that that, that stop a lot of people going jail. It right? was and actually, like it was actually from like- Northwest, actually, the, the media centre that they used to have up there. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's no longer there now is it i actually don't know i couldn't probably tell you bro to be honest but yeah now props okay yeah well hey more power to people and it goes to show the youth clubs really change people's lives isn't it you know what i mean you know that take note of that yeah for all you youths out there do you know what i'm saying don't you know what i'm saying think that you have to do something because you feel pressurized or whatnot pick up something else instead of something illegal you get me See, yeah, that's important stuff, you know. And I think a lot of these kids as well, they feel pressurized into doing drill music and stuff like that because that's what's trending and stuff. Yeah. But more time, these kids, like uh, certain people, uh, well, I'm not going to mention to get into it, but they tell me they'd rather sing songs or rather do something than that, you know what I mean? But I think peer pressure, you know, encourages people to go a certain way, innit? You know what I mean? Uh, well, I think, do you know what I mean? Whatever you can do in forms of entertainment to like showcase your talent, be it skating, be it sport, be it obviously music, mm. dancing, whatever, you know what I mean? run with it because you never know do you know what I'm saying how far it could lead you on yeah well, talk about skating I know you've got a skateboard gang yeah, in the background yeah I've got a couple of my skater my guy over in here in the studio, tank top, you know? yeah he yeah. come up with the, the skate the biggest skateboard I've seen in a long time his wheels were like this big <laughs> so uh, you lot skate then yeah yeah pretty much like I've been doing it ever since I was a kid but then by the time I was 12 I got more into music you know what I mean so I put right. it on the back burner you know right, what I mean right. but ever since like the last like year or so I've kind of got back into it, you know what I mean? And I've still obviously got a couple of my old brethren that are still skating, still repping that, you know what I mean? So did you guys never give up the skating and that? Uh, you just kept going, eh? Uh, yeah, fair, fair. Pretty much. Hey, bro, I'm not lying, that skate will look sick. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to see, see what Come it's like to ride on. It looks mad still. Bristol has no it's talent. It's in my riding, isn't it? You know, one of them. Yeah. Hey, bro, I did. Yeah, looked amazing, bro, honestly. But, um... 
yeah, I think the skateboarding and the hip hop music and uh, music in general kind of go hand in hand. Uh, it does. As we were saying earlier, there were certain people for like uh, Bristol's Finest and Split Profits and stuff like that. Yeah. They would combine in the skate videos and stuff like that. Yeah, and especially I, in that song that they did. Um, I think it was called, was it? Dean Lane or memory something like about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. If you look in that yeah, video and see yeah. somebody in a Burberry scarf and a Gucci hat jumping around in a big fur jacket, I mean, you. Yeah, I'm in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, watch it again. Max. You'll see me in there. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, mad, yeah. okay, um, okay. Yeah, a lot of them uh, early split profits video. I'm about. Yeah, but um, yeah, man. So um, rap battles. I mean, we couldn't do an interview without me mentioning the rap battles. Oh, of course, man. Of course. course I course. think. I think. Obviously, I've got to mention the because you had a bit of a sigh. I know you probably don't want to dwell on it too much because you had to have two battles, but you won them both. Yeah, yeah that's so right I, to say. You know, I think uh, we got a touch on it so you versus uh enemy bristol enemy yeah how do you think it all went well to be honest bruv like i just got put forward and asked to battle him i yeah. was like yeah no problem whatsoever you know what i mean i'll do that yeah. but then obviously there was a little bit of fault you know what i'm saying on like afterwards with the footage and that so then obviously we decided on a rematch yeah you know and then obviously man went for on the rematch and slayed him yeah. but I, I, the way that i see it is that I think I think it was obviously like a fair one because obviously on the first one, you know what I'm saying, like he, he was, was drunk, he was wasted, you know what I'm yeah. saying. I'm I not think his lie. nerves got the better. The of second him. time he came, do you know what I'm saying, and obviously did a lot better than his first performance. So yeah. I'll give him that, you know. What More pattern, but you still beat him on that. Yeah, one, yeah. of course, bro. It has to be, <laughs> it has to be obviously um, announced, you know what I mean, declared. Yeah. Yeah. And then you went on to another opponent. That's right, yeah. yo, UN Price. Yeah, how do you think all that went, bro? You got blitzed. My man literally got obliterated that. to I pieces. Agree. I agree. You I know? Agree. <laughs> you know bro, nah, honestly, bruv, it's good to see, bruv. It is I really good to see. It. And I think um, up until, because they on uh, GBTV, big up. Uh, yeah, Team GBTV, GB yeah. big up, obviously, Every Bear, innit? Time, big yeah. up, Bear on Team yeah. GBTV, you know what I mean? He does his thing, holds it down for pose. You know uh, what I mean? He's one of my bro. He's one of my bro, you know Yeah, nah, he's a good, good guy. I got a lot of time for him. Um, but basically, I think he was waiting on a crowd decision for a little bit. He was doing like yeah, a, a vote yeah, yeah, and yeah. Stuff, I basically so. like put the forward to him. Do you know what I mean? The idea of like putting the obviously like votes out to the audience so they can like yeah, decide yeah. and then vote on who they reckon won. And I thought that was obviously a good idea. I think that's so, the fairest way. You know what I mean? You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, sometimes if someone's got a much bigger fan base, it can be a booky way because obviously people pick who they're... Yeah, but, but then, I think in this case, it was a fair a fair decision, you know what I mean? And I think the right guy won at the time, you know what I mean? Um, well, to be honest, Crazy, I'm not going to lie. It put us both, do you know what I'm saying, in the spot for a bit, do you know what I mean? So yeah. obviously it got people to know, both of us, who we are, what we're about. Yeah. And you know what I mean? So do you recommend battles for this reason then, yeah? I do, yeah. And the reason why I say like I got into it is because like as, as a little kid and that... Like, I always thought it was funny, do you know what I'm saying? Ripping on people like my friends and that, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, About, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, family relatives and stuff like that. Or as far in as I could go with them in detail. And then, you know what I mean? Obviously, after that, we, like, linked it with the music. And, yeah, it just obviously seemed to click from there. And we obviously still practice now, you know what I mean? Man's like this every day. You can even ask my tugs. Man's always rinsing them, bro. You You're know what a freestyle <laughs> don't, isn't it? I know it is, yeah. You, you can pull freestyles out of your head that people just won't even be able to piece up, you know what I mean? It's practice and practice. And I thought to myself, crazy, you know what? For someone to come out of Bristol, do you know what I'm saying? I thought I'm going to do this completely different, but I'm going to obviously come with, like, new school flavour of an old school touch, you know what I mean? So I just thought, yeah, I'm going to completely flip it on his head and do stuff, do you know what I mean? That like, I thought people could never do i didn't come in the game to be a part of it i want to change it do you know what i'm saying yeah 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 now uh just to clear up as i said the first battle um that with the footage the reason it wasn't going to come out is obviously because he was a bit inebriated and yeah, a bit yeah, drunk. yeah i feel that I feel and that. uh they didn't want to release it on the don't flop channel for that reason but then he said to me oh it's up to you do i do i want to release it and i was like look i'm gonna make this one rule i said if i watch it and i laugh i'm uploading it <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I was crazy. Was it? Look at me. No, look at you. No, look, bro, I, I had tears running down my face. It's like it's got to come out. And also, I think it gives like a story onto the second one on T GB's page as well. You know what I mean? And it's like a build up. But as I say, you got the, the W on both of them. So props to you for that. You know what I mean? Nah, respect for that, bro. Like, I, I totally hear that. You know? I think it's a really good angle for you. I think you are naturally skilled at the battle. And there's something you should you should do and definitely take up a lot more as well as the music. Obviously, you're really good at music as well. But I think it's, you're very entertaining when it comes to this. And there's not many people that can freestyle like that as well so i think that's that's the skill man i think at the end of the day like it helps do you know what i mean with the mind so reading is to the mind like exercises to the body the more that
that you read, the more lyrics you're bound to come out with. And not only that, you'll find out a hell of a lot more knowledge than what they probably, do you know what I'm saying, never teach you in school, bruv. You know what I'm saying? That's the way that I see it. Self-educate yourself because you'll be so shocked at the stuff that you find, yeah. you know? And yeah. a lot of this rubbish and all of that, you know what I mean? You can never properly settle upon that. Never believe secondhand information. Always try and, do you know what I mean, search it out for yourself. That's the true thing about freestyling. Any MC will tell you about that. Read. Isn't that the same as when Kendrick and Drake they dissed and Drake made up a fake daughter or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> and he followed that and he dissed him about a fake daughter and they're like, ah, we set you up. Yeah. Research yeah, for yeah, yourself. Yeah. yeah. Don't believe some sucker information, not and don't That's listen right. to Drake. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you think about all of that madness as a battle there? Do you think that was any good? To be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you. Obviously, Drake is a household name. Yeah. But at the end of the yeah, day, so Kendrick, 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 good. <laughs> Kendrick's got bars, though. Kendrick's got yeah. bars, man. And I don't care. You yeah. know what I mean? Him, he's just flawless, bruv. You know what I mean? Yeah. His wordplay, his delivery, his flow, he's got it. Drake, do you know what I'm saying? Cannot compete with him on that level. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So you had Kendrick uh, as well. Yeah, you know, I yeah. would. I, I think would. a lot of people agree with Hell same, yeah. 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 He did, he did. Yeah. Even my tug saying that he slammed him, so obviously you got murk blood. Uh, right, <laughs> so we have literally only it's scary how quick it flies by, and it? it goes Martin, so fast. Martin, the two hours have gone past like it's honestly if I spent my whole life in here, my life would go so quickly. Yeah, it would, would it? I'd be dead in a few months, it feels like. But yeah, now um we've got like a minute or two left. So uh, music releases stuff like that okay okay um, now you've had a couple songs played like that phase one and certain things like that yeah yeah. are yeah, they yeah. out that is officially on youtube yeah that's on youtube yeah yeah, okay, yeah, I yeah. Missed that. My, my bad sorry all, you, all you gotta do is literally type in my name then b shots d-e-n-b double e shots on youtube all of my stuff will come up okay have you got is that on your own youtube page uh at the moment no because i currently i'm uploading my videos on the money mission uh youtube page money mission quickly can you break that down we all got right, about so a minute left so that's your gang crew. money mission mm. me major saying basically it's a southwest thing south bristol thing them two are from hartcliffe i'm from northwest you know what i mean we met in college and boom the music just clicked and we're so sick best know that it's on bro it's uh, <laughs> best know done. that it's said. official now come on bro i love that right bristol flavor you get me girt lost me and uh, not to be ashamed of man that's our identity you know what I mean? so, of course yeah. man you gotta embrace it like at the end of the day i accept that i'm mixed race i got a white mum. i got a black dad so at the end of the day this is where i'm from Bristol's what I represent, my flavour. You get me? Well, and we should be proud of Bristol. Just like Brummies are course. proud of that. Manchester people's proud yeah. of Manchester. It's a matter of time till someone bosses from it Bristol. Is. It, it literally really is. is. It, it literally really is. is. Right, so we're going to go into the commercial breaks. Okay, after that, it's the live performance part of the show. What's there any shout outs you want to give before we go over? So. Obviously, shout out Money Mission. Don't know. Yeah. My major in saying on that. I also want to shout out Team GBTV, Bear. You know what I'm saying? I want to shout out, obviously, all the man them doing their thing that I know, that who know me. And of course, I want to shout out Word Life. I want to shout out Crazy for giving me this opportunity to come on the show, showcase myself and give you audience and all you silent listeners out there a little ting of what I'm about and know that I'm going to be coming up on the scene and creeping. Ain't no creeping going on. <laughs> They're full on on. Creeping right. up on, man. You see it there. Right, so we're going to go into some adverts now. Stick around. On the other side, we're going to go straight into the live performance part of the show, yeah? Boom. It's on. Let's go. They call it. 